So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at how I painted up these guys. These are my Spartan Hoplites from Vitrix. We start off as always with a grey base coat and I used Halford's Grey Primer. Moving on to the first paint, we use Necromancer Cloak from Army Painter. And for this, I paint up all the linen armour and all the hair that the Spartans have because they were famous for their black hair. Then we move on to Game Colour Extra Opaque Heavy Red and I use this for all the cloth and clothing that they have underneath their linen armour. I also use it for any plumes that the Spartans have and all the capes. We then shade it using Citadel's Nuln Oil. Just wash the model completely all over the areas that you have already painted. For moving on to Army Painters, War Paints, Weapon, Bronze. I use this on all the areas that will be bronze, so that includes the bracelets on the arms, the helmet, and the shin guards. Then move on to Vallejo's Oily Steel, and I use that on any of the areas that are going to be steel, so on the Spartans it is mainly just the ends of the spears, and also the swords. We then use Vallejo's Army Painter Leather Brown and I use this on anything that is gonna be straps. So the strap that goes around the chest area and also the strap that goes around the spear. Moving on then to Vallejo Game Colour Charred Brown and I put this on the sandals on their feet and I also use it on the shaft of the spear. I then use Vallejo's English Uniform to go around the edges of the linen armour. So the parts that stick out to give it a little bit of decoration. And then I wash the entire model again with a Earthshade so you can try to avoid the black and red areas but it's probably going to seep in it doesn't really matter we're going to go over them in a bit anyway. Then it's time to paint the skin and we start with a base coat of tanned flesh from Army Painter. Paint this on all the skin areas before washing it in Reichland Flesh Shade. I then went over all the red areas with the heavy red from Vallejo Game Colour again just leaving the darkness in the recesses and just picking out those extra highlighted areas before lastly using barbarian flesh from army painter again just picking out those raised areas mainly in the faces and the toes trying to make the arms so as it looks as if they are defined with muscle and this is what the finished models look like hope you've enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and i shall see you in the next one